Hey everybody, it's Ben and Beta. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about the products that I'm gonna to use to detail my 2024 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road in Celestial Silver. And then also walk you through the process of what I did and how I did it. Basically, since I got my first vehicle, I've always liked to keep them clean and, and make them look as nice as possible. They get scratched up, they get dinged, they get bumped, they get banged. That's totally fine, but I like to make it look as nice as I possibly can. And when I was younger, the detailing products that you were available were just like whatever you got at Walmart. And it was mostly just Meguiar's compounds and waxes, that kind of thing. And those worked just fine. But a few years ago, I discovered a number of different detailing channels on YouTube. Pan the Organizer is my favorite. And then I am Josh Fee is another one I've discovered recently. And after watching some of those, I started thinking about coating my vehicles in either a ceramic or a graphene coating. And that's what I started doing. And those have worked really well. It is a little bit more of a process to do. You wanna make sure you get it right because these coatings are supposed to be good for multiple years rather than just a few months, which you typically get with a wax. Some of the new spray-on graphene and, and ceramic coatings are supposed to do a year. And I think that's fine if somebody wants to do that. They're nice and easy to put on. I used one of those spray-on products in my dad's vehicle and it worked really well. But on my vehicles, I wanted something that was gonna last multiple years and was going to not only look good for multiple years, but repel water for multiple years and make it really easy to clean when I got the chance to do that. And I probably wash my car more often than most people and less than some. It's all preference, but I enjoy doing it. So before we get started with what I'm going to use this time, I wanna talk a little bit about what I've used in the past. One of the products I learned about on Pan the Organizer was Glassparency, and they have a graphene coating that I have been using on my vehicles the last four, in fact, and it's worked really well. It's maintained a good shine. It continues to bead water after multiple years and I've not had any problems with it. So it's also pretty easy to apply because graphene I think is a little bit easier than a full ceramic. Sometimes ceramics come in two different bottles. I didn't want to deal with anything like that. So I went with this and it worked really well. It went on pretty well. I've had high spots a couple of times, but honestly it's in places that people haven't really noticed and my car looked really good. I've gotten actually a lot of good comments on my vehicles in the past. So I think it's a great product and they have a whole line of things that you can get. Glassparency is something I can definitely recommend because I've used it before and I know it works. But this channel has been in beta, so I have to try something new, of course. So let's talk about what that's gonna look like. So the next product I thought I was gonna use was this Cerakote product, which is a ceramic coating by uh, Cerakote. And it's very new, it just came out last fall. And the early findings were that it was really easy to apply and that it gave a fantastic water beading effect. But it turns out that there were some curing issues with this product. And most people who put it on found that after a wash or two, it just kind of didn't perform the way it was supposed to. And so I'm gonna not put this on. There is a video on Pan the Organizer's channel if you wanna check that out where he interviewed the president of the company who talked about what some of the issues might be and they were going to fix that. I haven't looked to see if, they're, if they have or not, but what was really cool about it was they gave full refunds to every, anybody who wanted them or they replaced the product for free. I didn't end up having to pay for this, so that was great, um, but I decided I was not gonna coat my vehicle in it because I wanna make sure that this is gonna last for a long time. The process does take a good amount of time. It's like, you know, a half a day's worth of work, so. I wanted to make sure it was gonna last and, and be a good product. However, we are gonna try this coating out on my friend's car. I basically said, do you wanna do this for free when you come this summer before we go overlanding? And he said, sure, let's give it a try. So we'll maybe have a video about how well that works and then he can give a long-term update. Brian can talk about it on the podcast. So we'll see how that goes. So we're not gonna be using Cerakote. What will we be using? <laughs> so this channel wouldn't be Ben and Beta if I didn't try new things. So this is new to me and it's a relatively new company to the detailing space. And it's DIY detail, and they have a ton of videos on YouTube as well. You can check them out. This is not sponsored. They didn't pay for any of this stuff. I'm just gonna try it out and see how it works and let you know what I think of it. So I'm hoping it's at least as good as the graphene coating from Glassparency, but I'm gonna be trying the five-year version of their graphene coating at DIY detail. So I'm hoping that's gonna be pretty good and supposedly pretty easy to put on. So we'll see how that goes. They have a lot of good videos on how to apply all their products. I bought it as part of a kit, so I'm also gonna be using their panel prep, their iron remover, and also their polish. And it came with a polishing pad as well. So I'll be doing that. And then for the applicator, they have this nifty applicator to put this on. 
as well as a couple of towels for both the leveling and then just the buffing at the end. So that's what I'll be using for the products for the graphene coating. Along with that, I decided to try the Incredible Suds shampoo. So that'll be new. I've been using a different brand for a while, Chemical Guys, for quite a while. So this is supposed to be really good in a foam cannon, it's supposed to be Incredible Suds, and it's also supposed to be good for just general washes. And then two other products I'll be using in the future are uh, the ceramic gloss. So ceramic gloss is something I'll put on after I wash the vehicle on the paint and glass. And basically it just kind of helps protect the coating a little bit more and keeps it working for a lot longer. Plus it makes it even glossier and more slick for when it rains out. So I've used a similar product from Glass Parency in the past after washing, it just takes a minute to spray it on. It's sort of like a detailer if you wanna look at it that way. On my wheel wells and the wheels, I'm gonna be using this Quick Beads product. And this is meant to basically give you a ceramic coating type feel, but you just spray it on and then wash it off with the hose and that's all you have to do. You can actually just use this after every wash on your vehicle and that can be your coating if you wanted to go that route. So we'll be trying that out on the wheel wells and the wheels. I'll be using all these products for the first time. So we'll be doing the washing, the paint prep, and then the coating and see how that goes. I almost forgot one more product here from DIY Detail, and this is their All Clean, which I'll be using during the cleaning process for the wheels and tires to make sure that they're as clean as possible before we put on the uh, quick beads. So those are all the products I'll be using that are DIY Detail. So in the iron removing stage right here, I'll be using a PNS clay towel, which uh, I have used a clay towel in the past and it's so much better than a clay bar. If you haven't tried it before, you should definitely do that. But I'm not done yet. I have a few other things that I'm gonna be using during this that I do wanna talk about or things that I use just in general. So these are the rest of the products I'll pretty much be using during this process. I did do the interior already. I didn't do a video on that because I didn't think it was all that interesting, but if you want me to do one, let me know in the comments and I'll go back through that footage and I'll do a video on that too. In the past, when I've done the polishing, um, I have used this Meguiar's Dual Action DA, um, basically drill attachment. And to be honest with you, it works pretty well, but it is pretty small, so it takes a long time. So this time I decided to upgrade and I found this Work Pro on Amazon, which I will also link in the description. So this will be the first time I'm using this, but it is variable speed. And because it has a six inch pad, this should go much more quickly, which will be nice. One thing I would note about polishing, if you have a brand new vehicle, you can actually skip that stage. I'm doing a real light polishing, so it won't take very long. This isn't bad and I'll link this in the description too. So if you don't wanna pay something for something extra like this, totally fine. And they have plenty of these little replacement pads and honestly, it works pretty good, but I am excited to try this out. So just about all my rags are from Rag Company. There's one exception, which we'll talk about in a minute, but uh, these are my Rag Company wash mitts, and they are great, so I would definitely recommend those. These have been my drying towels in the past, again, from Rag Company, and they've worked really well. You can just kind of basically put them on the vehicle and just sort of drag them along so you don't leave any marring marks or anything like that, and they dry really well. Those have worked great. This is what I had before that, similar kind of things. Uh, as well. And then um, for application of different things, I've got these rag company rags here. These ones specifically are great for buffing. And then these blue ones are great for leveling. These are good leveling towels or like a pearl weave. What I do want to talk about, because it has taken me quite a long time to find the right towel for this, but these specific towels for glass are fantastic. They don't leave streaks and they also don't leave like dust and debris behind. So these have been really, really good. And I'll leave a link for those. And I use stoner for my glass cleaner. The other thing I have I'm gonna try for the first time is also from DIY Detail. And this is their drying blanket. So it's as much bigger than some of the other things. It's supposed to be able to do one vehicle. We'll see if that's actually the case when we're done. But we're gonna try that for the first time. And then lastly, once everything's been coated and it sat for at least 24 hours, then I will probably uh, apply a tire dressing. And I've got a bunch of different ones. So I've used a, a Meguiar's before in the past that works really good. Uh, it keeps it super glossy and very like wet looking. I'm trying this one, it's water-based. This isn't gonna give you quite the same wet look as that one would. And they also have a really cool Suds Lab is called the, is the company. Um, they also have a really cool applicator pad that you can get to, to do your tires. So I'm gonna be trying that out. I used it once on the Tucson. Those are all the products that we'll be using during this process. Uh, I'll be starting this tomorrow morning and hopefully finishing it tom tomorrow afternoon at the latest. But I'm excited to get started on this. I think it's gonna look really good, but I'll detail the whole process as we go along. So like that, it'll be tomorrow. So I did say that we were 
going to take care of the vehicle tomorrow, which is true. But we're gonna do one thing today. We're gonna to do the wheel wells, the tires, and the wheels today because it takes a decent amount of time to do that. And tomorrow I already have a lot to do with the entire truck. So I just want to get this part taken care of today. So we're gonna do a quick cleaning with all clean, and then we're gonna use the quick feeds on those pieces really quickly. And hopefully that only takes maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, just to do a really good job with it. And uh, then I can save that time tomorrow and focus on just the paint essentially, and the main body of the truck. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'll show you one tire. They're all gonna look the same though. So to clean the tires and wheels, I used all clean. One of the downsides of that was I used a lot of all clean on just four tires, wheels, and wheel wells. DIY Details actually recommends diluting this to use it, and that probably would be smart because you'll go through this very quickly otherwise. So I bought a little foam sprayer for just this, and we'll be trying that in the future to see how that goes. But I think even a garden sprayer, just diluting it in the ratios that they talk about in their videos would make this product last a lot longer. So I'd recommend that. As far as once that was done and putting on the quick beads, this was simple. Quick beads went on easy, you just spray it on, you wash it off. I didn't use too much. I probably would get maybe a couple months worth out of this one bottle for that. If you did an entire car, it probably wouldn't last as long, but I think you can get bigger jugs of this if, you, if you're gonna use it all the time. Man, the results are great and it is super easy to apply. So I definitely would look at that product if you're just looking for an easy way to coat your vehicle, make it look nice and shine well without doing a lot of extra work. So it's time to take care of that truck. So we're gonna wash it. We're going to prep the panels and we're going to add the coating today. So we're going to start with the washing. I'm going to do a time lapse of this and I'll probably just talk over top of some of that. If something comes up during the process, then I'll kind of talk about something that happens here or there. But hopefully you'll be able to see kind of everything from the time lapse. And uh, I'm going to be listening to some music because this is going to take a while. So here we go. All right, so the first stage today is going to be foam cannon. We're going to foam it, rinse it off, and then we're going to foam it again. We're going to hand wash it and then we're gonna apply the iron remover as well at that same time. So that's kind of the plan here for the first phase. And uh, again, we'll get going and hopefully everything goes real smooth. In the wash phase, we're using the incredible size in the foam cannon. You can see how good that is even from a cheaper foam cannon. The foam is sort of shaving cream-ish. It stayed on for a really long time. It provided a ton of lubrication. It also worked fantastic in the wash bucket. I was very impressed with incredible suds, both foaming and washing. And it also did a good job of lubricating before we used the iron remover. And during the iron remover phase, we used that PNS clay towel. And you're seeing that I'm spraying it on the towel and then spraying it on the panel and wiping it down. So we're using those two products in conjunction just to keep things nice and lubricated on the surface. And I have quite a bit of the iron remover left over. Typically when you use iron remover, you spray the whole car down with it. It's almost always gone by the time you're done with that. Oftentimes when I've used iron remover in the past, I've used a ton of iron remover. And in this case, I used almost none. So that's, that's fantastic. This product will last me a long time and I can continue to use it in the future if the coating ever gets kind of clogged up. All right, we completed the wash. So now it's time to do a quick dry and let that go. And I'm actually hoping to get a lot of water in the garage to try to increase the humidity so that the uh, curing process for the coating takes a little bit less long. So we'll do that next. Everything's dried. I did also clean the windows with my stoner glass cleaner. I needed to just make sure everything was dust free there because I'm going to be coating the windows as well, the glass. Uh, but this is kind of what it looks like when it's all washed anyway. Um, so it's definitely very clean. And uh, next step is going to be to do some polishing. That'll be next, but that's after lunch for me. All right, we're going to be heading on to the polishing phase now. So this is the first time I'll be using this polisher. Um, and I did watch some videos from DIY Detail, which I recommend you do before from whatever company you buy your stuff from. But if you do DIY Detail, they have lots of good videos out there. Um, and they say you need to get it wet first, kind of dry it off so it's damp. And then you're spraying, while it's still rotating, you're spraying on their polish. And then you do a section and you just kind of keep doing that, rinse and repeat until you do the whole vehicle. And then you only need one pad. Um, I don't need to do any kind of real heavy anything with this. So I want to start in the top of the vehicle just in case I make a mistake. Nobody will see it. So that's the plan. And if you see me doing that, that's what's happening. All right. In the polishing phase, we're using the DIY gold standard polish. And the way they recommend using that, so you can see me here getting the pad wet and then I'm putting it in a bucket and running it. Try to just make it damp essentially. And then I'm just spraying it onto the pad with one spray. I think the product worked really well for what I put on it. 
but I maybe could have used just a tiny bit more in some spaces. It took me a little bit of time to kind of figure out that you really want an aggressive spray in that trigger. So just go crazy and spray hard when you spray your pad. The downside to this method is it takes a very long time because you're constantly going back and forth to wash off that pad. And then I'd have to wipe it off at the, after that as well. So between all of that, it, it took quite a bit of time. Longer than I was hoping for, but it did do a good job. And the dual action polisher I had from WorkPro worked great. For the price of that product, I'm pretty impressed with it. So if you're looking for a dual action polisher, definitely check that polisher out. It was easy to use, made this process simple. I didn't have to apply any pressure, which you're not really supposed to do in this situation at all, with brand new paint especially. So I just basically set it on top of there and let it do its work. And it was much easier than using the dual action polisher that I attached to my drill in the past. So this worked fantastic. All right, so the next phase is done. We have completed the polishing phase. So all paint's all polished now. I'm just gonna use quick panel prep to get all the excess off of everything, including the glass, so that it's ready for the ceramic coat. So now we're on the panel prep stage. That was pretty easy. You spray it on, you wipe it off, and I probably used about a quarter or so of the bottle of that, and it worked good. And once it was done, it was definitely nice and clean and ready to take that coating. All right, panel prep is now complete, and it's time at this point to put the coating on. All right, for the coating phase with the five-year coating, it was very easy to apply with the applicator they gave you. It did fly out of my hand a couple times. It always landed face up, so I didn't have to use the other one that I bought just as a backup. Everything went on really easy, and that's great. Darker colored vehicles are easier to coat, so these lighter colors like silver and white can sometimes be more difficult because it's just harder to see where you've, where you've gone and see this sort of oil slickening on water effect that they talk about. I kind of had to do this on feel, but I've done this enough times with my other vehicles, I kind of knew what it should feel like. When you're trying to level it, you don't want it to feel sticky or anything like that. Within a minute or so, honestly, after applying it, I was able to level it out and it felt very smooth when I was doing that and then buffed it off. And that process was simple, was able to go around the entire truck. I did all the glass, I did all the trim, and on the trim, boy, was that just a major night and day difference between the the blackness and the deepness of that black and the trim. So it worked really well. That I wiped off first before I did the paint. On the glass, it worked great too, so no problems there. I don't think I have really any high spots in the paint, which is awesome. I would definitely recommend the system as a DIY kind of first time trying any kind of coating. I think most people would be able to figure this out pretty easily, and I was very impressed with it. All right, it is finished. Truck is coated, so it's all done. I think it's looking pretty nice. Especially the trim, that really came out nice and black. I like that. All right, so it's been about two weeks since I put the coating on and uh, everything's nice and slick now, but I just wanted to show you how well it beats water basically in the hydrophobic properties of the DIY five-year graphene coating. So let's just check it out. So beating up really nice and coming right off. So it's exactly what you want. No problems whatsoever there. I'm on glass. Same thing, beating right up, coming right off, no problems at all. We can also look here at the tires. Remember they put the quick beads on these, so let's see how that goes. And that's beating up quite nicely there too. So that's holding up over two weeks, and that's just a spray, so that's pretty nice. And it's just kind of coming right off there, no problems. Look at that runoff, nice, nice and slick. As I wash the vehicle, we'll see how this lasts over time. So I'll give an update after the very first wash and then some long-term updates on how these products worked. All right, so now that you've seen all the video, you've seen everything that we've done, let's just talk about whether or not I'd recommend these products from DIY Detail. And the answer is definitely, I would. I tried to give you what I liked and anything I didn't like or any recommendations I had about the products as I was using them during the time-lapse. But overall, as a just general product category or a company, DIY Detail knows what they're doing. These are good products and I'm excited to just see how these, these work long-term. The five-year coating, 
Um, when it was curing, I wasn't sure how it was gonna turn out for sure, because you never know with some of these things. Once it was all cured, man, the paint looks good. It's so slick and the water just repels right, right off of that. And you can see that in the before and afters. The water didn't, it was completely sheeting on the paint and now it just beads right off, which is fantastic. My favorite products are probably the coating and the incredible suds. The iron remover process was really easy. I have a lot of that product left, which is great. I would just say the the big one that was kind of the eye opener for me was the all clean. I just used a lot of that on four tires. So again, I'm gonna try that in a foam cannon in the future and we'll see how that goes. The drying blanket was fantastic too. I didn't think it was gonna dry the entire vehicle, but it did, it did a great job. And I think pairing that with the ceramic gloss in the future should be interesting to just see if it makes the process even easier to drive the vehicle. Polish, I would say worked really well. Um, the pad is still basically like brand new, which is awesome. But the big thing with that is it was a lot of work to go back and forth to wash the pad, dry it off, apply the product, move to the next section, especially carrying around the dual action polisher and having that plugged in. It was just kind of a bit of work in a tight garage space and it took a lot longer than I wanted it to, but this worked well too. But the product that I think that was most surprising to me overall was probably the quick beads. I didn't really know how well just spraying some product on and then washing it off was really gonna do in terms of providing hydrophobics and that kind of thing. But the quick beads work really well. The fact that it still worked two weeks later, that was pretty impressive and I was pretty happy with that. So I will definitely in the future be using the ceramic gloss and trying that out and seeing how that works. I imagine that'll just make things a little bit better in terms of gloss and shine and just keep the coating working for longer, which is great. So would I recommend DIY detail products? 100%, I would recommend those. You should give them a try. Again, there's links for all these in the description if you just wanna try one or the other ones. Both ceramic gloss and the quick beads can be used as a coating by themselves if you want. Uh, I didn't mention that earlier on about the ceramic gloss, but it can be. So you might be wondering how long it took me to do it. It was more than six hours of the day because I took breaks in between, but it was about six hours of my actual time from the wash phase all the way down to the graphene coating phase. Initial impressions and just application, all this stuff worked great. I would definitely recommend it. We'll see about the longevity of the coating, but you can see after two weeks, it was still working well, which is good but we really need to get it dirty to test it. So I'll have update videos about that coming in the future. In the description, there are links to all the products as I've said before. Those are all affiliate links. And if you click on one of those and you buy one of these products, it helps my channel, but you don't pay any more. And I'll also be including a coupon code for the DIY detail products. So please use those codes. It's really helpful. These videos take a lot of time and effort to make, and I hope that you find them helpful. If you don't want any of these products and you're not interested in that, if you just like the video, subscribe to the channel and share this with somebody you think would find it interesting, that would be fantastic too and I'd appreciate it. So that's it for this video. Remember to live your life in beta and we'll see you next time.